So hello gamers, a lot of people want a secondary that they can use when they panic. Now what this means is you don't want to have the best aim, you just want to be able to get the kill and actually survive a fight. If your panic gun is like a GV-22, it's not going to work very well for you, right? So you want either a shotgun or one shotgun or a spam gun. That's what you want. You don't want something that's like, oh, I guess I got to click a bunch or something like that. You just want something that kills people up close. So let's start it off with the Serbu shotgun at number five. What makes the Serbu such a good panic gun is that with the extended tube, you can have a six round capacity. And you can pull this out to one shot people if you really need to so if there's a guy up close you can just kill them this gun falls off very hard at range but it is a pretty reliable one shot and if you run out of ammo on your primary or something then you can pull it out and do that which is pretty nice you know i mean like dude what it's definitely not the best panic gun since you do actually have to hit a shot however it is a shotgun so it's less difficult i would say it's not the easiest shotgun to use also i was thinking about putting snake shot on this list snake shot is very good the problem is it's only effective when you aim down sights and if you're panicking you're probably not going to be able to aim down sights every time if i put a top 10 on here then uh snake shot would be number I don't know, seven or something. But yeah, I only did top five because I don't feel like top 10 is really necessary. If you guys want me to do a top 10, maybe I will. Maybe I'll use viewer feedback and like change this up. But I feel like this is a good start for a top five. But yeah, the Serbu shotgun, you know, it's one of the most reliable secondaries in the game. It's a reliable RPM, reliable one shot kill up close. Yes, it falls off really hard, but you will one shot. I think it's because of the spread and how it works. Plus the fact that it four pellet kills and not like five. It also has eight pellets. So it has the same pellets to kill as the snake shot revolver, except it has two more pellets. You can expect less 99 assist counters kills on this gun, but don't expect it to be very good at range, that is for sure. Next up, we have the Desert Eagle XIX. You would think this wouldn't be a panic secondary, and the L5 isn't much of a panic secondary compared to this, but because it can one-shot without it being a headshot, it is basically a panic secondary. This is my most kill secondary, and I can rely on this thing to actually kill people up close when my primary is out of rounds, or when I want a close range one-shot. And if you're hip-firing, you can actually expand this thing pretty hard and still be pretty accurate with it. The thing about it is that it actually has about the same recoil as the L5, but it has a very slow recovery speed, which is why the L5 kicks up and then comes down so fast. If you've ever used the L5, you know the L5 actually kicks up quite a bit, but then it comes back down. This comes back down by a lot slower. And yeah, it's definitely not the best panic secondary since it isn't automatic or anything, and you still have to be slightly accurate, just less accurate than like a GB22 or basically any pistol because the thing is you only have to hit one torso shot, and the torso is the biggest hitbox on the body, so it's not actually that difficult to do that. It's also just reliable. You can just rely on it, I don't know. The XIX will always always have your back as long as you can just hit one torso shot and you're good man except at like very far ranges or above 40 studs that's not very far away but still you'll three shot at all ranges at the least but then next up we have the saiga 12u without the extended mag this is a very small capacity gun which is probably pretty obvious but with the extended mag this has 350 rpm i believe terrible spread but it's essentially a pocket version of the saiga 12 and as we all know shotguns are very very good for panicking and just spraying and it also has a full auto conversion if you really want to have a full auto shotgun this is one of the few in the entire game i think it's one of two basically unless you're considering like triplex but that's not really a shotgun you know not in the same sense but yeah even without the extendamag this is probably better for panicking than the serbu because you can just do this and per shot i think the reload is faster without the extendamag and probably even with the extendamag considering how many rounds you get two plus one is not a bad capacity and the fact that you can have like a long barrel and a bunch of other stuff on this to make it a full psycho 12 is probably where it sets itself apart from the serbu the serbu is really really good don't get me wrong but i feel like overall this is probably just a better serbu when it really comes down to it with the extended mag and everything and without the extended tube this is two plus one anyways and it becomes five plus one and i believe this one is like an eight plus one yes eight plus one but like very very little reserve so you can't have extended mag and full auto on this which is probably one of the funniest things i've ever seen in this game literally three rounds full auto at 350 rpm so basically just say goodbye to every single mag i have like 30 kills on this gun from using it one time i used it for the other ranking video which is probably like about eight eight months ago or something. It was a long time ago. Maybe I'll put it in the top right if I remember to do that, which sometimes I don't. I mean, like, if you only fire two shots, the reload is pretty fast. The empty reload is bad because you have to reload it twice if you want to get that third round, which is kind of important because sometimes you're going to need it. Yeah, empty reload and then tactical reload afterwards. So I feel like at the end of the day, it still has like a very slow reload. When you really think about it, you have to double reload basically every time. If you empty reload, you have to tactical reload after, which is such an annoying feature, but it makes sense. I would rather have this have a default capacity of three and no plus one or something, but that wouldn't make any sense that wouldn't have realism though sorry game
Ooh, I feel like just because of the fire rate, this is even in this state better than the Serbu because the reload speed is very fast. It's really difficult to take on multiple enemies at like anything above like two studs away because sometimes it's going to take multiple shots, especially the spread. The spread on this thing is very, very bad. It's definitely like the Obras where it's worse than the primary version of it, but it still is basically just a bootleg version of the primary, which is still better than like another secondary. Let me know in the comments though, Serbu shotgun or Saiga 12U. For a number two spot though, we have the Glock 18. I don't feel like any of the other machine pistols except for one are very good panic guns. I feel like a lot of them don't really shoot as fast as they could, and the micro Uzi is just not very good. So it's not a very good panic weapon when it's just not a very good gun, you know? I'm using 50 GI on this, but this is better with the extended mag, because with the extended mag, you get a ton of rounds, more than like an assault rifle, and still like assault rifle hits to kill and more RPM, and you can just spray with that thing until you get a kill, which is really nice. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, 50 GI is still possible to kill a lot of people with. It's just not as viable, because you just have way less capacity. I still love it, though. It's still a great ammo type. I thought about maining it. I bought all these attachments. I should just use the gun. The thing is, for me, I don't really rely on panic guns, so maybe that's why I don't really use it. I prefer the XIX because you don't really need to panic with it. It's alright when you panic, but if you just take your time and hit one shot, then it's actually a viable gun. But yeah, don't get me wrong, this is a great gun. 50 GI isn't really panic ready, but it is very, very fun to use. It's a good challenge, you know, it's got a decent amount of recoil and stuff, and the upside for it is the incredible time to kill. Faster than, like, I don't even know, dude. Probably faster than the Vector. Also, I'm on a multi. Let me continue it. Okay, I suck. There goes my multi, man. Kind of like this all time though. I don't usually use the all time but there's also the fact that you can two-shot torso and three-shot limb, but you're not going to two-shot all the time because it's literally a requirement for it to be two torsos. It can't be any other combination of shots unless it's headshots, but it can't kill with two limbs or one torso and one limb. But yeah, let's get off the Glock. I really need to use this more. Maybe I should just make it my main secondary. But without further ado, the number one secondary is the Tech 9. Not number one in the game, but it's number one for panicking. Now, here's the thing. It just has so much RPM. Because of how quiet it is, it sounds like it shoots slower. But trust me, it shoots a lot faster than the Glock 18. Is this super effective for long sprays? No. It dumps its mag in less than a second. But if you want to really just put some lead down range and take a guy out in close range when you run out of primary ammo, this is the perfect gun to use. You still got to be kind of accurate, but let's be real. This is not a very high skill ceiling gun. You have to be mildly competent, but you can just kind of spray and you'll probably get kills. I'm completely fresh out of ammo though. I guess I'll just use the AK-74. This gun is- it exists, dude. I'm gonna be real. Okay, the AK-74 is not bad. It just feels like an AK-47 with like very weird recoil. But yeah, four shot, which is the same as the Glock 18. However, it has this big upside of having 400 more RPM. This is tied for the highest full auto RPM in the entire game with the M1919 conversion on the Tommy gun. You know, the one that doesn't have an extended mag, but has like a 0.04 second time to kill. So obviously it's gonna do a ton of DPS up close. And it's not very good for taking on multiple players or being used as a primary, which is what I'm doing with it right now. But that's not what it's for. It's for panicking. I thought the 50 GI Glock 18 had battery reserve. If you guys want to see some other panic guns, I can give you another list, like a top 10. But I guess I can just show you some right now. The MP1911 would work. The only revolver that would kind of work would obviously be the 1858 with snake shot or the executioner because the executioner is basically the XIX. And then here the thumper would be really good if you're just a god and you can hit every single shot. But yeah, gamers, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.